today we are starting with another concept called as hybridization hybridization coming from the word hybrid which is something which we come across quite often now where we have hybrid varieties of crops where you know that two genes from two different crops are intermixed and we get a new variety which has the best characteristics of both the species involved hybridization in chemistry is something similar where we talk about the intermingling of atomic orbitals let's take a daily life example where you have four friends a b c d they want to buy something which costs one unit each one of them wants to buy but a has only two rupees b has one c has one and d has none they are very close friends they all want to buy this article which cost them 1 rupee so the best option available to them now is to bring their money together and divide it equally between the four of them so that each one of them can have one unit of the of, of the uh, object or the pencil or whatever they want to buy they will each have one unit of that hybridization is something similar and why do atomic orbitals hybridize that also we need to understand here when we do the sigma and the pi bonding for atomic orbitals we notice in the case of carbon we taking a very very simple example over here that is of methane ch4 carbon has an atomic number of 6 1s2 2s2 2p x 1 y 1 and z there is none right now it's something similar to a situation that we discussed just now now this has to form four bonds with each of the hydrogen atoms now if i take it simply in terms of overlapping of atomic orbitals what will i have is only two bonds being formed but we know that when hydrogen approaches the carbon atom there is interaction of uh, uh, there is there are forces of attraction which come into play because of which the energy of the electrons changes and they align themselves so as to have half filled p orbitals according to the hund's rule so we'll have px py pz or basically you can understand that hydrogen when it tries to approach carbon carbon wants to be more stable in order to save itself so what happens here is there's half filled s orbital half filled p orbitals over here so there is extra stability half filled and fully filled orbitals are extra stable over here now there are four unpaired electrons now in other words carbon can undergo four bond formation so 1 2 3 4 now if i talk about a hydrogen and a 2s1 overlap what will happen is there's an ss sigma bond over here because hydrogen electronic configuration is 1s1 come to the second hydrogen goes and overlaps with the p atomic orbital here this is how it can overlap when it does that there's an sp overlap here another hydrogen with the p sp overlap sp overlap sp overlap over here so there are three sp overlaps and one ss overlap accordingly i should have in the case of methane since there's an sp overlap an ss bond that's an, a bond between form between two s atomic orbitals overlapping is stronger then a bond form between an s and a p atomic orbital overlapping which in turn is stronger than a p p overlap the logic for this is very clear more the extent of overlap stronger is the bond so what do we have over here is in this case since i am talking about in the case of methane i am talking about one ss overlap in other words one bond of methane should be stronger than the other three but 
experimentally we observe something very different we notice that all the four ch bonds in the case of methane are equally strong so you need the same amount of energy in order to break the ch bond whichever bond you are talking about how do we explain this this has been explained on the basis of hybridization now we define it as how do we define it as the intermingling of atomic orbitals in order to give us new orbitals of equivalent energy is what is called as hybridization how do i how do we go on to understand it and how do we explain it this is what we are going to do now so in the case of carbon as we saw on the approach of the hydrogen atom it gets excited to give us a configuration of 2s1 2p x 1 y1 z1 here as the four friends did they came together pulled in their money to buy a a thing so the same thing happens over here these four atomic orbitals come together and redistribute their energy s will give some energy to p p in turn they will redistribute so what we will have is we will have a new set of orbitals they are now now called as hybrid orbitals these hybrid orbitals means they will belong to the molecule they now do not remain concentrated on the atom and these hybrid orbitals will only be formed when there is bonding about to happen so i have now what name do i give very simple we have 1s and 3p orbitals participating so s p 3 hybrid orbitals how many of these hybrid orbitals will be formed so again we see over here one of s and three of p are participating so one and three more gives me a total of four so there are four sp3 hybrid orbitals formed what is their shape now this is the shape of s this is the shape of each of the p orbitals when they have combined three of p and one of s are combining they give us a we will represent it by this where we have an upper lobe which is bigger and a smaller lobe which is representing the lower in other words the energy becomes concentrated in one direction now what is their orientation now here this carbon has to form four bonds which each of the four hydrogen atoms according to the vscpr theory there is these four sp3 hybrid orbitals are now ready to form four bonds so four bond means four bond angles so bond angle bond angle repulsion what do i have over here is they will align themselves so that there are they are maximum distance apart from each other and this we represent by this particular model which is uh, if we put uh, clay, uh, clay balls over here we will have what we call as the ball and stick model so what do we i have over here is one bond two bond so this is in one plane this is coming up and this is going behind the orange one so this is out of the plane of the paper this one is into the plane of the paper this is called as the tetrahedral arrangement where each of the bond angles is the same and that is 109 degrees 28 minutes is what we call so methane this explains why experimentally we observe that all the four bonds in the case of methane are equally strong and methane 
instead of having a plus shape it has a tetrahedral arrangement where we have bonds aligned in a three dimensional space further i shall also explain to you how these can be represented when in 2d first what we'll do is we will draw this three dimensional arrangement over here so we have a small loop this is a hybrid orbital so in order to differentiate it from the unhybridized one i have shaded it so i have one pair of electrons over here i have another pair of electrons over here so we have two now two electrons are paired up there'll be a third one if you want to avoid confusion you can just draw a small the smaller loop can be just close to the carbon three and then we have a fourth one over here so these are hybrid orbitals and just to differentiate them from the unhybridized one i have shaded them slightly so this is my methane it has tetrahedral shape and the bond angle is 109 degrees 28 minutes there are sigma bonds sigma bonds involve head on overlap so one sigma two sigma three sigma four sigma so all are sigma bonds and they are four sigma bonds the kind of repulsion that is happening over here according to the vscpr theory is the bond angle bond angle repulsion so bond angle bond angle repulsion is the least and we have a tetrahedral shape for methane in order to represent this in 2d what do we do is the two bonds which were depicted in the plane of the paper are drawn with a solid line like this then there is one bond which is going into the plane of the paper or into the board so that is drawn with a dashed line so we have hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen here mind you these are not at 120 degrees this dashed line is used to indicate that this is inside and then we have a solid wedge in order to indicate a bond which is popping out of the plane of the paper so this is a two dimensional representation of a 3d structure and this also represents a tetrahedral molecule over here now here we have you can also be uh, okay the type of overlap that's another thing we need to understand now this is a sp3 hybrid orbital whereas this is the s orbital of hydrogen again sp3 hybrid orbital s orbital of hydrogen so the type of overlap over here what type of overlap is happening over here is an sp3 s sigma overlap and how many of such overlaps are here one two three and four so i have four sp3 s sigma overlaps this is one type of hybridization that we have spoken about there are other types first concentrate on this grasp this and then the others become quite easy